Hello and welcome my fellow Homo sapien friends and today we've got a review video for the Tr Curse of Osiris that dropped on Tuesday. Now before we get started I really want to point out that this is not a bitching video, okay? This isn't a let's all jump on the I hate Destiny Bungie wang wagon, okay? This is a constructive feedback review. Now this, if for anything to get done this is the only way you can do it. Bitching and moaning about something it, and not giving any sort of feedback or any like alternatives to anything isn't going to get you absolutely anywhere. So this is not going to be one of those videos, okay? So if that's what you expected, then please, you know, go find someone else on the YouTube that will do that because this isn't going to be that. Okay, I do have complaints about the game, yes, but I don't want to sit here bitching about them. So we'll, I want to see change as well. So I'm, I'm sticking with it if you want to if you want to say that. So, but we're gonna go into it. Now I do have quite a bit to say. So if this video drags on, I do apologise. I will try and keep the rambling down to a minimum, but no guarantees. If things need to get done, things need to be said. I'm sorry. So we're gonna start off with obviously the story. So the story is six missions long, which is yeah, you know, not great. But the missions are fairly long, and it it does kind of feel better than the previous DLCs, well the previous expansions, sorry, for Destiny 1. Um, there are three adventures as well and you can obviously make them a heroic so technically you can do them twice and the heroic ones are actually quite solid if, if you know if you don't have a decent fire team with you. I mean, you could probably do them on your own but it is quite a challenge and I probably wouldn't recommend it unless you're like a hardcore Destiny player. I'm not so much a hardcore Destiny player, I'm kind of in the middle of a casual and a veteran. Like, I play when I can, and when I can, I play a lot, if that makes any sense. So, that's that's kind of how I play, so I'm kind of in the middle, so that's probably why I don't mind it so much, but I mean, like, there's, there's other games that you can play as well. Now, interestingly, I did find one of the adventures quite fun, it's the bug in the system. So basically in this one you have to pick up like a little orb of light like you do with most things on Mercury. You've got to put it into like some sort of like, I don't know, device. And it, you kind of have to just defend it from incoming hive. Now, why is that not a, a mode in Destiny 2? Like I had a lot of fun playing it and it was actually really difficult just having like me, me and my friend playing the adventure on that one. Especially the heroic one anyway. Like, that would be an awesome, like, just get, like, four people in, just try and defend this thing, and you just have wave after wave after wave of, like, everything. Like, it changes. It's kind of a bit like the Prison of Elders from Destiny 1, but not quite. Like, you have to defend it as opposed to just go in, kill stuff, and then come out. Like, that would be awesome. Like, defend something. It takes, like, ages to fucking defend. And obviously, you have wave upon wave. Like, maybe stretch it out from when you have, like, wave 1 to 10, and that counts as, like, your, f your, your first round or something. And after, obviously, 10 waves, you get some sort of loot for doing it. Like you do in most games. Like, I mean, for Warframe, for example, I think it's, I think it's like, 10, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on and so forth. And after every, like, 5 rounds, you get, like, a reward and an option to continue, something like that. Now, that would be an awesome sort of like game mode for Destiny 2, and that mission was actually really fun. So it, maybe we could have something like that in maybe a further expansion, I don't know. But it would just be really fun to do that. Now, we're going to still stay on the subject of Mercury here. So we're going to have, obviously, we're going to talk a bit about Brother Vance and the map in general. Like, the Mercury map was fairly small, I've got to be honest, and there's only one public event. Now, you do get... Uh, regular like high value targets which is fine or you know all fine and stuff but like as a map goes like there's really not a lot of incentive to grind it if you get what I mean like with one public event I mean admittedly it's a very big public event and it's a bit of a pain in the ass if I've got to be honest but it is fun but you can't just keep doing the same public event over and over like you know when it comes like flashpoint every Tuesday like, and you've got Mercury as your flashpoint, that's going to take forever because you've only got one public event. And, you know, you're only really going to grind it then. 
on the t subject of that, as obviously you get your rewards as well, which are really disappointing. I've got to say, like I mean, you can activate the heroic uh, public event, and you get two chests, which is fine. But when you're only getting like two tokens and a blue, I mean, it just kind of makes you think like, well, why did I fucking bother with that? You know, what if there was some sort of rare loot that you could get from doing it that gives people that incentive to carry on grinding for it do you know what I mean maybe not so much like a god roll because you know god rolls would be fun to have back but maybe like I don't know a specific weapon or just something that's really hard to get do you know what I mean like you're making everything else hard to get so why why not put something in the chest that makes it worth that grind makes it worth that kind of yeah, I've got to, I've got to do this. I've got to do this. I've got to persist so I can get this gun, or get this armor set, or you know, just something, just something that you know gives that incentive to do it often. And I mean, you have to have 30 tokens to upgrade anything on Brother Vance. Now I don't know about you, but it it took me ages just to get bloody 10 and 20. Do you know what I mean? Like. All the other factions have, I think I think it is 20 for the other factions. I may be wrong on this one. I may be blowing this completely out of proportion. But I just feel that it's a bit unfair. Like, it's going to take absolutely ages for people to get the full armor set. With, with especially the RNG as well. And I don't think that that's fair, to be honest. Because you, no one's going to be doing Mercury. It's too small for starters. You can't travel on a Sparrow. And, you know, it... <laughs> just a bit repetitive and boring but I did like it visually visually it's beautiful like the whole story is visually beautiful but unfortunately it's not really gonna make me want to grind do you know what I mean like make me want to go right I've got to play it I've got to do this I've got to do that and that, that's kind of like disappointing for me like, I'm not angry at the money I've paid because I'm putting the hours into it do you know what I mean but I'm just ang I'm just upset that it wasn't more. Like I'd been hyping for the game for ages, and I don't know whether it was completely Bungie's fault or whether like Activision were just trying to push it so it could have its sales. Do you know what I mean? Because some companies are like that. Some companies will just be like, right, have you got a basic game? Yeah, okay, we'll just get rid of it. Just get it out there. Just get this money in. Like, and then we'll just throw a ton of like DLCs and lock everything behind, you know, DLCs and microtransactions. And I hate like gaming companies are doing that. It's not fair, you know. We're spending time and we, you know, a good game, a full game to play. Like I don't mind paying for a DLC if the full game is, you know, decent, like in size and story. I don't think that it was, and I was a little bit disappointed with that, you know. And I think we all are in some sort of way. And another thing that's grind my gears, I suppose, is that we've got old exotics back. I mean, some of them have got different perks on, but like to reuse old exotics, it's it just feels to me like laziness. I mean, they're not even bringing back the good ones, if you know what I mean. They're bringing back like the ones that have just been worn once or used once and then left at the bottom of the barrel. Like, if you're going to sacrifice a slot for that weapon or that armor set, like it needs to be powerful you need to sit there and think right I need to put this on but like but I can't use both are we stuck for ideas I mean Rick Kakas did loads of videos I think every Saturday of like fan-made exotics like why are we not like delving deep in something like that why not let the community have their say with an exotic uh, you know gi give them like a competition like give us a good uh, exotic weapon idea, give us a good exotic armor idea, and we'll put it in the game, and like, you know, put a competition into it. People will love that shit, do you know what I mean? If they've got a chance of having something they've created into a game, and it will help out the company as well if they're struggling for ideas. Like, let, let the community help, you know, that's what we're here for. I mean, if we're gonna put the money into the game, why not let us have a say in what goes into it as well? I've checked out all the new ornaments for obviously Vanguard, your Crucible, and your factions. Now, to me, the factions are the only ones that I'm really interested in getting. To me, the Vanguard armor is just absolutely ugly. I hate all of it for all three characters. I've got to say, I'm sorry. And the ornaments don't even look any different. 
like you I've checked them all like they don't really look any different if it anything it's the smallest detail like when they said they were gonna put ornaments on armor I assumed that it'd be like you know in Destiny 1 when you had the ornaments for the armor and it actually made it look a lot different and like and I just feel that it's it's, it's just laziness like did we need more time did you need more time to to be able to put this in Destiny like I know that you know we can be quite harsh sometimes you know and we can be a bit bitchy with each other but at the end of the day we, we want to make this game succeed and you know if if there's any way we can help with giving you feedback and stuff you know let us know because we, we want this game to succeed we put hours and money into this we want to sell this to people but you know we want to have fun with it as well and we're not. We're just not having fun with it. I was really looking forward to the ornaments. That's one of the things I was really looking forward to. And then I checked them all out and I was just so disappointed. Like, you can't, it, we can't keep being disappointed, Bungie. Like, and I, I guarantee, I know that you're working hard. Like, and I know that it's really hard to please veteran players and casual players. And finding that balance is almost, you know, frustrating as it is for us as well. Um, you know, we are willing to wait for change, but it needs to come soon. Like Heroic Strikes, very disappointed with that as well. I felt that we could have had active modifiers onto it, you know, like we do with the Heroic Adventures for starters. I mean, they had active modifiers on, which made it a lot more difficult and it was a lot more fun. Like, why can't we have something like that in the Heroic Strikes? And, you know, the, the loot we're getting is plentiful, but it's it's not... It's not worth the grind, if you get what I mean. And like I said, with the Vanguard on ornaments looking absolutely poor and just not worthy of my time, do you know what I mean? Like, it, 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 I don't know, it's, it's just really disappointing. I just expected a lot more and I got disappointed. But then again, you know, like I said, you can't please everyone. I mean, there might be people out there who think the Vanguard armor is really nice and the ornaments will look really cool another thing i think that maybe needs uh improving is give us another vent during the week do you know what i mean like let's say for instance we've got um tuesdays which is obviously reset we all know that uh, reset hits everyone grinds the fuck out of the game and then by wednesday everyone's bored okay like why can we not have some sort of like a bunch of bounties or something that will last for a couple of days that will give us an incentive to go in and be like yeah we're well, okay we'll grind this because we get this sort of reward and loot from the end of it let's do that like we did with the arms day like you'd have certain bounties you'd have to test weapons and take them out into the field use them and then you know if you leveled up you got a weapon for doing it like why is that not a part of destiny 2 Everyone loved Arms Day. People used to do videos on it and stuff like that. Like I thought it was a really good idea as well because it gave you like weapons for the classes that you couldn't get with any other class. And that was awesome. You know, what I mean like you could do like faction rallies where you get like exotics for completing quests with your factions. Like and getting getting like a rank. Do you know what I mean? Like that it's it's simple things like that that could make the game a lot more playable like at the moment there's just no replay in the game at all still uh, I'm, I, I'm assuming that that's what they're working on at the moment they're going to bring this sort of stuff in uh, probably at a later date but you know this this is the sort of stuff that needs to come in now I, I'm yet to try out the new raid layer so I can't say whether or not you know it's any good or whether it's worth the time and effort so I can't really comment too much on that until I've played it but it did look a lot of fun, and it, it obviously it was short. The only thing I'll probably whinge about is that it's Vex related on a Cabal ship. That just kind of makes no sense to me. Whether they, it, they explain it in the story while you're doing the raid, I don't know. But it just makes no sense to me because I, I've not played it yet. Like from an outsider's point of view, that doesn't really make much sense to me. Like the weapons kind of look the same. I'm not sure about the armor, I've not seen many pieces to the armor, but I'm guessing they're just going to be a complete reskin anyway. Like, we need to come up with some more creative ways to change the armor, change the weapons, the way they look, and everything like that, because 
if everything's just reskinned, people aren't going to want to do it. People aren't going to be like, oh, I want this because it looks different. Like with the Iron Banner, for, for instance, that looks c completely different to everything else we've got in the game. Like, why is that not a thing with everything else? Now, I know I've, you know, rambled on a bit too much in this video. I do apologise, but this is obviously my opinion and a few ideas that maybe that could get thrown out. Now, before we go, actually, there is one thing I want to note, and that is the farm. Now, I've, I don't know about you, but I've not been to the farm since it, like, I first played the game back in September. And obviously the football pitch has gone way, like, missed. Like, why are we not creating tournaments for that? Why can we not make, a like, a football tournament? Like, four people in your clan against four people of another clan. Get clans fighting against each other, do you know what I mean? Like, make it fun. Get your clans against clans. Because people like to feel that they're in competition with another clan, do you know what I mean? They like that competition. They like to be like, yeah, we're the best, we're the best. Ooh. Do you know what I mean? Like, get some sort of clan competition going. That would be absolutely amazing, I feel. And it will give people a lot more incentive to sort of, like, pick out their best players and, and go from there. So that that's my final note for the video and I'm I'm sorry again that I've rambled but if you did enjoy this video please like and subscribe just these little things really help out my channel and I hope to be doing more videos each week for you and I will be probably streaming a lot more probably next year as well so please listen out for any kind of inkling that I'm going to be streaming there's going to be a shit ton of games coming out next year so I really want to be streaming quite a lot of them so I will be doing that quite a bit. Obviously, if you do want to see more videos and don't want to miss out on those, please hit that bell and then it will notify you every time I post a new video. Again, like I said, I try and post one at least a week. Obviously, I, I will work and stuff, blah, 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 blah. You don't need to hear about that because you, you're not here to listen to my life story. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. It really does help that you're here listening to me even if you think I'm wrong. So take care, fellow Destiny Seekers.